I am Burtzum, but I am also mythic fantasy role-playing game. But what came first? Let's find out. You might think that you're looking at a Burtzum album cover, but you're not. You're looking at an ad and module called the Temple of Elemental Evil. And as you can probably tell, this is the inspiration for the famous or infamous two first Burtzum albums, a debut album and Desum Engangba. Here on the inside of the book we have a better image that will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Well, the question is rather stupid, really. Um, Bursum came first, but my interest in role-playing games came before Bursum. And I did not start out as a metal music listener before I played role-playing games. I started out playing role-playing games, and then with time I also started to listen to some metal music. I say some metal music because I never really liked much metal music. I only liked a very few bands, or not even bands, but a very few albums, in fact not even albums, but a very few tracks by some metal bands. So I was never a metalhead, but I was a geek. Not a traditional geek, I was a training in martial arts. I was known as Karate Kid in school, and I used to fight a lot and win. But still a geek, because I was, you know, having um, geekish uh, hobbies like uh, role-playing games. The link between Burtzum and role-playing games is imagination. I, uh, when I created the first Burtzum album, I wanted to create something uh, sorcerous, something that would uh, create an alternative reality. Not in an insane manner, but um, as an experiment to see if you could, if I could will something through to make it real. You know, like in uh, traditional sorcery, you make belief and it becomes real. You want something to become real and it's real. You pretend something is real and if you have sufficient willpower, it becomes real. In theory, anyway. And that's what Butsum was really all about. I did not try to become a famous metal musician. As you can see on the, the image of me on the debut album, it doesn't look like me whatsoever, and uh, that was intentional. Because I wasn't supposed to be famous. The uh, imagined character behind Bursum, the anonymous musician, was supposed to be famous. I kind of failed there though, uh, really. I didn't quite manage to stay anonymous for very long, but that was the intention. Uh, and quite often that's what happened. If you try to become famous, you fail. But if you try very hard not to become famous, uh, you might well become famous. That's the laws of nature, the laws of man the laws of the universe, and they are not fair. <laughs> 